these things. We don't have any combos yet. Boo-poo. These things are weak to Boo-poo. And our Joe just got a critical hit and frightened the thing. Wow. And Gale just got Dragon. Yep, Zan Void Force. Argila leveled, as per usual. She prioritizes magic over anything else. New in this game is this. Instead of just randomly uh, maxing out your health, magic, or both, or increasing a stat, sometimes your allies find items in the most ridiculous places imaginable. But hey, free items. They can still recover their HP or MP, get stats, but there's some new stuff now. said Zan, did I? Shit. I can guarantee one of these is, a, is a weak to Zan. Well, let's not have to do this the hard way. That's fine, since no one's weak to that. leveled. As per usual, he'll prioritize everything over luck. Which is sad. Eventually the game stops being uh, constant cutscenes. Honest. While I'm at it, let's set this guy's skills. You probably remember this thing, the rejuvenating light. And if you don't, then, well... We have the advantage. I'm pretty sure you got the hint from the phrase, fully recovered. The battle system is pretty much exactly the same. Get some semblance of uh, stuff here. Expect me to run back to that rejuvenating light a lot. There's not a whole lot else you can do this early. New. Hey, I don't know this. You are with the boohoo. Indeed. So, are you indeed with Kazan? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna get a lot of levels at this point. Which is, of course, good. Rival beads. Let's see. 
And this here is a Karma Soldier. He's a human. Humans, as per usual, are immune to Hama. Although in this game, in addition, they are weak to gun. You can poke them to death. Generally, they will, uh, if you encounter a human, they'll transform first. If they get the chance. Not a whole lot I can do here. And if they transform, they actually get a full heal. If I remember. Which, of course, is bullshit, but hey. in this game are exactly the same as DDS1, which means Charm is still the biggest pain in the ass. This guy's tough. Really tough. <laughs> oh, you jackass. There, you're gonna die now? Thank you. I got really lucky there, I'm pretty sure. So, this is gonna be the general uh, stat layout of Surf. Strength, Magic, and Luck prioritized over Agility. Agility is prioritized over Vitality. Why is luck so important? You will see. Oh bullshit. We don't have skills or experience. Literally, we have nothing. Okay, okay. doesn't kill you. Well, damn. Critical to the face, buddy. I'm really freaking lucky here. Whatever you say, buddy. So I was in the other door. Item. Uh, more rations. Something? I don't need to boot for the least. Are you the Zan? No. Oh god. Critical death. I guess that's one reason why luck is important. But there is a bigger reason. One I'm not certain of, but how? It doesn't hurt.
I can examine this shit. Surf, however, as you can see, is mostly just Captain Obvious. When he isn't, he's not exactly Sherlock. You're dead. Fuck you. Human shaw, human form works pretty much the same way. Except it, right? Except that, unlike the last game, in human form, you're weak to gun. Which isn't, which is only, which is only rarely relevant. Talk to you. I wonder why no one made the effort of, you know, carrying the stone bodies underground and using a disc stone on them. Anyway, let's take a look at the sun. As you can see, not a whole lot of people have been here, but... There's a reason for that. I do. And that's pretty much all you can get from these uh, bodies. The knowledge that they are indeed dead and that they are not happy about it. Remember that location, though, because it will be important much later. No, you're never given a hint as to why it is. What? Try to use the old hosta, hostage trigger. Go fuck yourself. Same to you, horse. You know, what if how this day told me where that hostage is? Shot shall. Ammo! It's exactly the same as before, as is everyone's weapons. Surf still has a handgun, Argilla still has a sniper rifle, and Gale still has his um, ineffective pew pew machine. Again, where the hell are you? It's one thing to take hostages, it's another thing entirely to make me walk through a mini hedge maze made out of city. Really.
Whatever. I'm going to have to, or else Fred will yell at me. But I think... Oh no, wait, those guys were weak to Zan, weren't they? Right. Boom. And that, of course, kills the guy instantly, so... That was worthless. I just remember, she has Analyze. I can never use that. I don't want to get rid of that, but I don't want to get rid of Patra either. And again, I might need Void Earth. Choices, choices, choices. I'll forgo Void Earth. This guy... Dead. What a grand waste of our time. So apparently it's very unusual for finally Mabufu and everyone's favorite Micronova, otherwise known as Megiddo. Back fate. This is basically Every human encounter ever. You poke them. Then they either use an item that doesn't heal them enough to actually save their ass. Or they turn into a demon and it becomes a regular encounter. FYI, but... Unlike the first game, taking time in battle doesn't reduce the money you get after it since there no longer is a Karma Temple to keep track of that. Think. What is wrong with you guys? At least you don't get hit by that shit. No money from that at all. Yep, we don't have money yet. Just notice that. But we no longer have to hurry in battle if you want the money. Which is of course a very good. You're dead. You're dead. I don't think it needs to be said, but... The Karma Temple Tuners, as they're apparently called, aren't the best and brightest. Just looking for treasure, guys. Really. I'm attack him. That's the effect I'd hoped for. Damn. Well, Roulette, you die! Holy shit, that is a giant turtle! Okay, okay, I remember your weakness. 